Hello everyone, this is Mahar Haddad here. So I have decided to make a new video and uh, to speak about uh, the DNS filtering, which is Flash Start, which works with uh, Microtech. Of course, the Flash Start can work with the uh, it's a DNS filtering. It can work with any other brand, but I just want to show you how it's working with Microtech. So what is uh, Flash Start? Uh, that's a company which is based in Italy. It's just a DNS company. They just do DNS. They can provide you DNS. But the good thing is that they give you on the cloud access that you can do some type of filtering, meaning that you can do uh, stop uh, some type of traffic that you don't want them to stop. That's a very nice feature, especially if you are running, for example, a school or you're running a business or possibly university or also at home to stop some uh, type of traffic that you don't want that people go to them, like some websites you don't want the, them to visit or whatever. So uh, in this uh, lecture, I'm going to speak a little bit about Flash Start, just as an idea. And then I'm going to show you what uh, the DNS is. Uh, so um, you will see how fast is the DNS uh, resolving uh, for Flash Start. And then I'm going to show you how I have applied it at home because Flash Start has uh, sponsored uh, this video. So they gave me access uh, uh, for uh, a license uh, just uh, to make this video, but also uh, to uh, uh, use it at home. So uh, I can show you live how it's going to happen that once we just stop some type of traffic, then how it will stop right away. And uh, the, finally, the good thing that Flash Start has decided to uh, give some uh, keys uh, for uh, my uh, students or for people who watch my uh, YouTube uh, channel. So uh, I have a limited numbers of keys uh, to be able to uh, distribute them to you then you have access to Flash Start for one year for free. Uh, now, how to get the, the keys? All you need to do is just to uh, write me an email and uh, uh, tell me that I'm interested to have uh, this key. I watch your video and I would like to have the key. And uh, as I said, the number of keys are very limited. So I will be working as first in, first serve. So uh, the first one who will just write me, I'm going to give him the key. And uh, then uh, if I don't give you more keys, so then uh, it's because I don't have enough of keys to distribute to you. So let's go directly and see what is Flash Start. And then we'll see how I have applied it on my home router and using, of course, Microtik and how it works perfect. So this is the website of Flash Start, um, flashstart.com. And as you can see, it is uh, uh, making pro protection, so protective DNS for malware and content. So it used uh, artificial intelligence, and you can see here the number of uh, companies that use uh, Flash Start. Um, so, and also those are the uh, number of countries, how many users are being protected, and so forth. So this is just an idea here of what uh, Flash Start can do. So content filtering, uh, DNS filtering with artificial intelligence. So they use the artificial intelligence to say if this, for example, website should be blocked or not. They give you the reporting. I got every day a report to my email about what has been accessed through the previous day and what has been blocked. Um, and if we make some uh, more information here, you can see that this content uh, filtering, DNS filtering. Um, you can also use the geo blocking. So you can just say, I want to block, for example, this uh, country. I don't want traffic coming from that country. Um, it has many other things. Of course, in this video, I can't uh, cover everything, uh, but uh, please have a look on their website. And uh, you will, uh, yeah, you, you can just, for example, if you want to know more about the content filtering, just you click on learn more and then you can read over there. The other thing that I want to show you is that uh, it is from a DNS perf. You can see on the, the DNS perf as DNS resolver, you can see flash start comes on number uh, three. So you have first uh, one, 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 and then you have DNS filter and then flash start. So you can see it's really um, uh, one of the uh, a good DNS as a resolver. So this is how much the query speed takes by flash start. Um, now, what I want to show you is uh, the cloud of uh, flash start. So this is uh, the cloud. As you can see, I have a trial license. I have connected the, on my router at home just to test it. Now, um, how can you uh, connect it uh, to your Microtech uh, router? So let me just uh, go to the production management to show you how this can be done. So normally from the protection management, all you need to do, uh, you have to go to a network. Actually, there is two different ways that you can do. Or if you have a public IP, which is an IP which is static for you. So all you need to do, just uh, you add it over here on the network. You say that is my IP and then 
uh, you put the DNS that uh, uh, the for flash start those DNS, and then uh, of course you have to do something on your Microsoft router. So that means that um, and if someone changed the DNS in uh, um, his computer, then it will still take them to the flash start DNS. So this is possible. The other way is to do it just uh, when you go go to network. Now I can't do it because I already have one. But when you, uh, you go to the network, then all you need to do you can just uh, say that. Uh, uh, I don't have a public IP, then you have a star, for example, a private IP, then all you need to do, is they will, you will get a script. So you just copy that script if you are using Microtik or some other devices and you paste it on those devices, then it can connect directly to flash star. And at the end, you end up having this protection. So look how nice it is, really amazing. So you can see that uh, this is uh, uh, what you can do. So they have uh, categorized uh, the uh, contents into different uh, uh, list as you can see. So we have ads, spam, web statistics, and experiment. experiment. So I have already uh, made everything to be blocked. I don't want those to be uh, accessed. Uh, audio and video, so they show you here what you can block. So if I don't want uh, people to use YouTube and at home, so I just click here. Now, believe it or not, YouTube will not work anymore. As simple as that. Yeah. Um, you have something like they call it dangerous. So like peer-to-peer, -peer, proxy, tools for hacking, gambling, coronavirus fraud. So I just blocked everything also. Uh, you have the malware and threats as well. So, um, um, yeah, I didn't play with that, so it comes by default like this, but I think the best idea is to just block everything. Don't don't uh, open things. So uh, it's something I have to do with maybe later uh, to block everything. Malware threats as well. Some national government blacklist here. Uh, news, uh, search engine, um, so social network this is also nice. So for example, I don't want uh, for my kids to watch TikTok, so I just block TikTok. And we are going to test it in a moment that it's not going to work. Um, so more things over here. Um, also, you have, as I said, this is the geo uh, blocking protection. So you can say, I don't want traffic coming, I don't know. Yeah, you just select, you have those options, you just uh, see uh, which of those uh, places you don't want to get traffic or then you just make deny okay uh, the other things that you can do you can make whitelist so because um, um, as i said um, so uh, when you just make a category you block it you may happen that you need one of uh, a website which is on the category that you have blocked it but you want it to be open like for example if i uh, block um, um, i don't know let's have a look so other social media, if you just may say, I want to block other social media, possibly LinkedIn will be blocked as well. But I want the LinkedIn to also stay open. So what you can do, um, you can just go over here on the whitelist, personal whitelist, and then you can just put here LinkedIn, I want it to open. For example, this website um, was somehow blocked, so I just whitelisted, and now it is open. All right, so that's something uh, you also can uh, do. Um, now, also, the last thing is about the search engine and the YouTube protection. So, also, you can um, make protection for the search engine and the YouTube. Yeah, I have here Google, Bing, uh, Duck, DuckGo search protection. So, it's already protected. We can also do for YouTube, uh, which is uh, can work perfectly. So, amazing how this uh, software or this DNS filtering is uh, working. So, now, let's make a try. Let's have a look. Uh, we have uh, Facebook is open. So now if I go to facebook.com, let's write facebook.com, enter. Um, you can see I can go to uh, Facebook and uh, I don't have any, um, at this moment, uh, any VPN open. So it's just I'm getting internet from here. So um, now if I just go uh, inside uh, here and then I say I want to block Facebook. That's it. You see, just one click. It may work directly because it's still, um, it takes a bit of time to to, uh, to work, but possibly let's try to see TikTok because TikTok uh, was a long time ago stopped. So let's me try to do TikTok and then we will try Facebook in a moment later. So you can see TikTok at this moment is not being opened, right? It is blocking. Of course, as I said, Facebook, we just made it now and uh, yeah, it may take time to, to open. Uh, to be blocked actually uh, so you can see that TikTok because it's blocked over here it's not working um, I would try one more time Facebook 
and see now here we go you can see yeah good luck there is no more facebook yeah you have to give it a few uh, i think i think like something like one minute or so it's not working but what about linkedin if we try linkedin which is we didn't block it you see linkedin is working now this is nice uh, but uh, you can say okay what if someone changed his dns on his computer he just put another dns then yeah it will not communicate to the dns of a flash start so yeah you are right he can put 8888 or 1111 at dns and he can just have everything open so that's what i have done here uh, on the micro declutter let me show you if we go from the micro declutter on the ip and we go to the firewall and uh, on the NAT, look what i did i said here dns forward to flash start so dns works on port uh, 53 on both tcp and udp so i said here anything which is going to dns so is it if it's tcp and i did the same for udp so i said destination net means it's going to the dns and then the action is to send it to this ip which is the ip of the dns of um, the flash start on port 53 so meaning that if you just change the DNS on the computer or someone change it and he's doing a query for DNS, then the microcrater will look at that. He say, oh, that is a DNS. Okay, want to go to 8888 or 1111? It doesn't matter for him. He just see it's a DNS. Then he say, okay, it's a DNS. I will make it uh, to go to the DNS of uh, flash start and from there to make the resolving of uh, the query that he's doing. So I did this for uh, the uh, TCP. I have uh, done also that one the same for the UDP. And um, um, if you look now on my computer, if I go to my computer and I make IP config, uh, maybe uh, we say IP config slash all. So my computer really has, as you see here, the DNS 8888-1111, but flash start is still working because the resolving now, it's coming the request the dns coming to the micro router the micro is seeing that it is port 53 so it's dns it has to go to flash start and this way no matter what they do uh, the users in your network then you can be sure that it's gonna go for flash start so this is uh, the demonstration that i wanted to show about flash start now the last thing that i have to say is just please you have to write me uh, by email so i can uh, give you the keys uh, or the one of the keys that I have um, and uh, as I said it's going to be first in first serve so the, the fastest uh, one who just uh, write me to my email he will profit to have one year uh, to use flash start so this is all what I wanted to show you in this uh, lecture I hope it was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming video